Yo, what up this planet? And I have some bad news and some good news. The bad news is I broke my hand, and that's the reason why I haven't been really been on YouTube a lot. And the second is the good news, which we got that Madden Ultimate Team 15 action on your screen right now. Now, my thoughts about it, I like it. I always like starting out fresh and new, especially like on NCAA Ultimate Team 14, uh, Madden Ultimate Team uh, 25. Like when I started out new, that was the best feeling because everybody was evenly matched with almost the same identical snatch th oh my goodness how did i get that interception and second of all give me that um everybody has pretty much the same team and basically you're running off skill who has a better scheme who who runs better who has the slightly better players and who makes the better reads in general like no one's going to have crazy quarterbacks unless you had the game early and you pulling packs and packs and packs and packs and packs. And right now, my running back is D'Angelo Williams. He's one of my favorite backs in the NFL, and I don't know why they don't give him the ball enough. I, I don't know why the Panthers don't, but they run a lot of option, and Cam tends to keep it a lot as I snag it. I don't know how I snuck that in there, but uh, Johnny made it happen. So he was one of my favorite running backs, especially in NCAA Ultimate Team uh, 14, I believe, as he just overthrows it. Pocket quarterbacks are a commodity, a must-have in this game. I will most likely run with a pocket quarterback, uh, depending on like how crazy the defensive linemen are and how sneaky like these uh, people come up with these blitz. And I know you've seen the Madden playbooks on uh, YouTube, and it shows all these crazy blitz that are like just cheesy a, a gap. Straight to the quarterback, insta blitzes, insta blitzes, insta blitzes. I'm not starting this over. <laughs> Speaking of uh, getting to the quarterback, but those insta blitzes, and those is crazy. And I just want to see how hard that is to maintain as I go ahead and player lock and I go ahead and switch off him, get on D4 and player lock again. Um, I want to know how crazy that's going to be because I know I dealt with that a lot in Madden 25, those cheesy A gap blitz, nano blitzes, whatever you want to call it. As I, I come out hitting with the screen. Because he kept hitting me with the screen. He plays it well, but he just doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He plays it well, but doesn't know what he's doing. It makes no sense, but it makes perfect sense. It's just, anyways, on to the next. So I come out, hit him with my favorite running play. I don't know. It's a strong eye stretch play, I believe. Strong. It's something like that. I come out and hit my favorite target, Aaron Dobson. He makes many, many plays. Just hands down, comes out, snags the ball. He has a high spec catch, dude. He has like an 88 spec catch for a 69 overall card. Crazy. And I'm sitting here wondering, like, why is that A button up there? And I never touched it until, like, he got, like, 10 more yards. And in Madden 25, that's a pick. Hands down, no matter who you have, that's a pick. So I want to know if jumping is going to play a big deal to where, like, a lot of those plays like that, which you just seen, would that make a difference in if you get the interception or not or awareness or maybe um, play recognition? Just something that's going to make a difference because I should have had that. Honestly, as he comes out and hits me with that uh, corner route, out route, whatever one it was, hits me with it. Eric Ebron told you we all have the same team. I have Eric Ebron. He has Mike Evans, uh, Kelvin Benjamin. Like he, We all have the same team as I come out and hit him with that buck sweep. So it's basically running off skill and running off who's going to make the first mistake and who's going to capitalize off said mistake. And that's pretty much it. So you, you see it, two minutes is coming up as I hit Williams. And I don't know why. I should have spun. I should have just got tackled, but I got smacked. And he has a 90 carry, and 90 carry in this stage of mutt is crazy nice. He's only fumbled probably, probably two times for me in, uh, yeah, probably two times in the whole, the whole time I've had him, which was... I think for a day now, and I played 15 games. I think that was that Zach Stacy. Zach Stacy is one of my favorite running backs too. I seen what he did last year in uh, IRL, so I don't know why I, I threw this up. Like in my head, I'm thinking, okay, if Eric Bron Ebron doesn't come down with it, then it's just going to bounce off of his corner's hands. He comes out, hits me with the field goal, and that's pretty much the game. And yes, I did lose. But honestly, that's not the first time that I lost, but it's damn sure going to be the last time I lose like that.